Okay, so these are onion badges. Okay, really, really simple. You've got onions. I've got gram flour. So gram flour is uh, ground chickpea flour. You can use plain flour, it can be done, but if you can find this stuff, use it, it's great. You can get it online, pretty easy. And then I've got some turmeric and some garam masala. And then also just some salt. I'm gonna put some green chili in, because I know I like chili. And that's about it. So the onion, I've just top and tailed, split in half. And then we're gonna slice. It's fine, not, not super fine, because you want them to have a bit of texture. All right, and you're gonna go so sideways, not going from top of the tail, you're gonna go sideways. Getting fairly medium kind of size slice. And what we're gonna do with these then is we're gonna salt them for a couple of minutes. And what that's gonna do is, it's, it's obviously gonna season it, but it's also gonna soften them up a bit. Into a bowl, break them up a small bit to allow all the salt to get in through it, and then give it a nice generous pinch. Okay, work it into it for a minute. Leave that for about five to ten minutes. And I'm just going to add some chopped chili into it. I like the flavor the green chili gives. Take the seeds out, you don't need seeds. I think you need to be bitter. Seeds make it more spicy or just a more bitter? It's the white membrane that makes it spicy. Uh. Right, that can go in there as well. Add as much or as little as you like. We'll probably end up adding the whole thing. Go on then. Fair enough. You can scrape it out with a spoon. That helps. Skills. So that's our mix. So now for the batter, so you get the gram flour, uh, to which we add our spices to it. There's no real need to season this. You can add a little extra salt, you don't really need to, because obviously the onions are seasoned up as it is. We're gonna finish it probably with a salt as well. So just, you want quite a thick batter, all right? Just gradually add a small bit of water at a time. Have a thick stage like this, give it a good whisk. Sorry, you all your lumps. Loosen that a bit. And that will probably be enough. Because obviously, you're going to get a lot of water coming out of the onions still. Right, onions in. I got about three small to medium sized onions here. You can use as much or as little as you want. This will probably be enough for like, for about four of us, I'd say. We make lots of little veggies. Quite thick still, isn't it? Very it's thick, you want it quite thick in that way. Hold together. Yeah, if it's too loose, you'll just drop, they'll just drop straight into the, fl uh, into the fire and go just straight to the bottom. Mm. And you'll spend the rest of your evening scraping them off the end of a fryer basket, which is not nice. You can do them in a pan as well. But I've got a fryer. So I'm naughty. And they're good. Alright, that's our mixture. So now, I'm going to put them in the fryer. Like I said, you can do these in the, in the pan if you like. But, just gather up a small little bunch of them, whatever kind of portion size you want. Okay, form them into a rough ball. It's a messy job. And then what you want to do is just gently drop them in. 
Just leave them there for one minute. Don't shake your fryer. Don't be tempted to move it because what'll happen is they'll just break up. Leave them for them. Gently into the fire. Hang on. We're gonna cook those for about two minutes. That's about it. So these are in there for now for about two minutes. Temperature as well, it's set at uh, 180. All right, they'll just naturally form together then, all right? You can flip them over maybe once as well through cooking. Being drained for a minute. Right, and they're gnarly looking, but cool. That is an onion badgie.